so sorry, sir. It, it won't happen Don't again. Ever disrespect me again. If you want to keep your dang job, then shut your mouth. Y yes, sir. It, it won't happen again. God. Now, what was I saying? Oh, right. I was talking about that one book that I read in class. And with that being said, let's take a seat and oh, talk. Hey, if I'm going to talk about this book, shouldn't I talk about it with someone? Hey, man. What are you doing me for? Uh, we got to talk about this book. Oh, sick. All right. Uh, why do I get this crappy chair and you get that nice one? Because I'm the original and you're the clone. All right, shut what your mouth. And we're just talking about What's this book about? Well, it's about this kid whose brother is shot. So he goes and he's going to kill this killer. He gets on this elevator to go down. He's got to go the gun with him. And uh, all the way down to this elevator, all these ghosts from his past come in and just start talking to him. And like, you have a ghost. And it's pretty weird, to be honest. But, you know, this is decent reading. That sounds weird. Is there any, like, symbolism or, like, theme to this story? Because it kind of sounds like there's some deeper meaning based on that description. Oh, yeah, dude, there's a ton of symbolism, and there's a theme. We'll get to that after the symbolism. And after this video sponsored. Hey, are you looking for a good book to read, but you don't have any time since your life is a crushing void of disappointment and anguish? Boy, do I have something for you. Download Audible on your iOS or Android device, and you can enjoy an infinite amount of audiobooks and podcasts without having to look at gross pages or read words. You can get one free book every month, and with Audible's premium catalog, you only have to pay $15 a month. That's a steal in my Sign up for Audible today and get absolutely nothing for free. I've actually your regularly scheduled program. I'm being told that I have an obligation to tell you viewers that Audible is the best thing to ever exist. Take that slice of bread. What was I talking about again? The book. The book, right. Hey, you're not the clone. I, I've read the book. You're not the clone, but the we. I've read the book. We. I want the clone. <laughs> anyway, this book has a ton of symbols. It's everywhere. If you'd like an example, you can give me an example. If you stop talking and open your ears, yeah, I bet, bro. You can. Alright, like I was saying, this book has a ton of symbols. A good example of this would be the smoke on the elevator. I personally like to think that the smoke represents death, because when you think about it, only the dead people are smoking. And over time, as more people come in the elevator, the more dead people come in the elevator, the smoke gets more thick and dense. Like even Danny, a 15-year-old ghost who died when she was only eight, is smoking in the elevator. Hmm, that's not a bad take on it. I guess the author of this book like to put things like that in there, huh? He does. That's like, that's kind of why I like the book, actually. It puts a lot of symbols. But that's not what I brought you here to discuss. Well, then what did you bring me here to discuss? I brought you here to discuss the theme of this book. See, Brownton's writing is pretty subtle and kind of hard to understand. But once you do understand it, it's pretty easy to grab the theme of the book. Or at least that's how I see it. See, what I think the theme of the book is, is to not always act in instincts. Why do you think that's the theme of the book? Think about it, man. Every character in the story that acts on their instincts gets backlash later for them. Take, for example, Will's father, Mikey. His brother was shot and killed on a street corner because he was selling dope to make a quick buck. Mikey thought he knew he did, so he killed him. But later in the story, he gets killed because he killed the wrong guy. I think I get what you're saying. I'm pretty sure there's another instance in the boat where Will takes his brother's gun so he can kill the man he thinks killed Sean, right? So you did read the book. Dude, I'm literally you. Everything you know or have done, I know and I've done too. Oh, I should have thought of it. Yeah, you dang this. Alright, anyway. We're getting off track. I can actually kind of connect to this thing because I've acted on my instincts and it's come back and ready to bite me in the butt. Oh yeah, name one time. Well, how about you name a time since I've been doing most of the talking and you're me. Alright, I guess that's fair. What was that one time in the third grade that we tried to break up that fight between those two guys and we got our heads set on for it? Oh yeah, dude, that sucked. We were just trying to break up a fight. We didn't deserve that. Oh yeah, and there was that one time we were gaming Fortnite with the boys. We were getting rushed by some guys, so we went to take cover in that little house. The dark was squatting there, so we all died. Yeah, I guess I could see how you can tie that to the thing. But anyway, 
I know there are plenty more time for you to act on our instincts, but let's move on. I think we're supposed to talk about how this thing changed us in a way. Hmm. I guess it changed me in the way that I don't always follow my instincts now. Like, if I saw some guy in prison getting beat up, my first thought would be to go and help that guy. But I wouldn't, because I know that I'd probably get pumped. Right? Yeah, I can relate to that. It also kind of impacted me in the way of, I don't want to take revenge on anyone anymore. Because if you think about it, all the people who got revenge in the book died later. And I know you feel the same way about it too. But I don't really want to die just because I'm avenging someone. I'd rather just stay alive and miss them rather than die to avenge them, you know? Yeah, I agree with that. So, like, what now? We did everything on the rubric, so I think we're done. I think you mean you're done. What do you mean? I was never here. I'm a figment of your imagination. But don't worry, you'll see me again. You'll need me in future projects. But bye for now. And bye to you guys. Uh, alright. Well, I don't know what that was about, but, uh, I think that's the end of this project. Hey, cue up the credits. Y yes, sir. Right away, sir.